In this video, we're going to talk about some of the important features of the new scatter and bubble chart by XWIS. To get started, let's look at some of the unique features of this visual, like the quick start template options, which includes scatter chart, bubble chart, IBC standard scatter and bubble, strategic use cases, and option to build your own. Now let's select a template and assign values. And within seconds, we have the scatter plot ready without even navigating the property sheet. So scatter requires only two values, that is X and Y. And you can convert this to a bubble chart by assigning a third variable, that is size value, which defines a bubble size. And if you assign more than one category field, then you can enable the drill down mode as well. In case of bubble chart having more than 15 bubbles, the chart automatically displays the top 10 bubbles and groups the remaining into others for comfortable view. You can perform top, bottom, and both based on X, Y, and size value. You can disable the others grouping or entire ranking feature by using the clear option. Under the appearance tab, you can alter the bubble size and define your own min and max value for the bubbles. You can even style the bubbles based on the legend field or choose to keep them in the same format. There are different types of shapes and style to choose from. So let's choose a square and also a pattern. And here I'm going to choose a triangle with only border. Likewise, you can also style the others group bubble to make it stand out. For those of you looking for custom image options, you can simply upload the images from your desktop and add some sizzle to your dashboard. The IBC standard bubble and scatter comes with IBC centric bubble styling options, including color, shape and pattern and also includes an axis range feature where you can split the axis into different bands or groups. For example, low, average, or high sales, and can add up to a maximum of five bands. With the analytics section, you can highlight the important areas on the chart using reference bands. For example, let's enable the reference band to highlight the loss making products having profit margin below zero. And similarly, you can add the reference line, that is a zero reference line, and the medium sales line. You can set horizontal, vertical, and custom lines, joining two coordinate points based on the average, min, or constant values. The XWIS scatter bubble offers support for strategic analysis or portfolio analysis use cases. In the following example, we can easily compare the product performance for 2018 versus 19 on the basis of growth, operating margin and sales and can visualize the increase or decrease in the sales with the help of the variance bar. You can configure the variance bar and display variances based on X, Y and size value. You can analyze which products lie above the rule of 40 line by creating a custom line from the analytics section and add an annotation to label the same. So let's add an annotation and name it as rule of 40 and display it as text plus arrow in yellow color. These were some of the unique features offered by the XWIS scatter bubble chart. For a complete list, refer the scatter bubble page on XWIS website and experience the advanced visual capabilities yourself. Thank you.